in this short video, we will learn about the function ifs and in this context, what is the switch formula? First, the basics of ifs. It's like a nested if function on steroids and let me show you an example to prove that. Imagine you are evaluating the test scores of the students in terms of fail, pass or scholarship. Normally, you would write a formula which says, hey, if the score is less than 40, give me the value fail. But if it is not so, again add another if function which evaluates the next criteria. That is, in case it is not fail, please check if the score is less than 80. If so, give him or her the status of pass. Next, for the residual value, you have scholarship. So it means anybody scoring 80 and above, you will be getting a scholarship. Now, if I go back and try to see how ifs is written, let's evaluate. You don't have to write multiple if function if you carefully notice that. You just have to write ifs, first the condition and then the value if the condition is met. If that is not met, it goes to the next logic and tries to evaluate its validity. Even if that is not met, it goes to the last one. So if I have to rewrite this function, it looks like this. If this value is less than 40, then give me fail. I'm writing F for fail. Next, I'll simply choose the same cell again. Evaluate one more time. Let's say 80. If that is met, then give me P for pass. However, please note that you cannot simply give S for scholarship here as a residual value. You'll have to put another condition or logical test and say, hey, if this is less than equal to 100, then of course, the final thing or value that you need is a scholarship. That's about it. And I close the parenthesis. So if I score 38, I get fail. How about 98? I get scholarship. So that was the basics of ifs. Next, let me show you what is the switch function. In theory, it's like a multi-level substitute function or find and replace. And I'll show you an example. Imagine the N, E are the abbreviations for North and East. I wish to have a value of full term North in case the letter is N. Similarly for E, I need East, W should be West and S should be South. Now I double click to show you the formula. Switch, then the cell that you are evaluating. Now, what is the short form that you wish to substitute it with? N for North, E for East, W for West, S for South and the residual value. You don't need to define that. The residual value can be central. So if I type in C, remove the ODE and press enter, I get central. By the way, if I just write CE, even then I will get central because I have not defined the residual value. Anything which is not N, or E, or W, or S will fall under this category, even if it was a number. So yes, it does make sense to define the last residual value if you want. So in our case, I'll put a double quote, C, double quote, and put the comma and press enter. What if I put only letter C? Yes, it does work. Now, the major difference between ifs function and switch function is that switch can only use equal to parameters wherein ifs can use more than, less than, more than equal to and all such operators. I'm given that theory at the bottom of the sheet for your reference. So the same problem could have been solved through ifs formula as well. Ifs, logical test, testing, in case the cell equal to n, then the value north. In case the cell equal to e, then the value is east and it goes on. Here, you'll have to refer to the cell in almost every occasion when you need to substitute the answer. Here, you just need to refer the cell once. So remember, if you just want to substitute one value with another, there is no mathematical comparison such as greater than or equal to, less than equal to, then you can use switch. What I will do for your reference is, just type in this formula text. 
so that you can have a look at the formula that has been used in both these scenarios. Yes, there you go. Of course, a round of practice will help you grasp this better. If you don't practice this, you'll forget it, you will never learn. So why don't you download the practice file from the description given below? You're one click away from learning new technology. So why don't you subscribe now and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.